Buenas tardes, Casper family, and welcome back to the X Frontier. Today we have some developments coming out from the Financial Times Invest in Space Summit. Yeah, it's literally in the name. It's a summit where government agencies, tech companies, and investors meet to discuss the viability of investing in the commercial space business. We have this article here, WiseKey announces secure supply chain management product integrating IoT devices, satellite technology, and blockchain. Now, if you guessed that Casper is that blockchain, you either guessed right or you just read the title. Quick flashback for those that are new, Casper Labs partnered with WiseKey last year to build a secure NFT marketplace on Casper. Now, WiseKey is a huge Casper Labs partner. For those that are new to WiseKey, it is a leading global cybersecurity company focusing on information security and digital identity management by using blockchain, AI, and the Internet of Things. They are a behemoth in cybersecurity. Definitely a company you want to keep your eye on if technology is your cup of tea. Now, pivoting back to this article, it states here, Today we announced a product for securing supply chain management of critical goods by integrating IoT devices communicating with PICO satellites, which are tiny satellites, launched by YSAT and FOSA with Casper blockchain. And FOSA is a PICO satellite manufacturer. This product leverages the extensive reach of PICO satellites and their ability to connect to low energy IoT devices and combines it with the immutability of data and smart contracting features of Casper blockchain to offer a unique benefit for the supply chain management industry. Combining the power of Wise ID with the ability of these secured IoT devices to communicate with the PICO satellites that aim to cover every spot on the planet with a maximum latency of 10 minutes and the immutability and smart contracting provided by Casper Blockchain, the new product is set to disrupt the supply chain management. I don't know much about this technology, but God dang, 10 minutes to cover the whole planet? That sounds pretty impressive. This is going to make a significant difference to supply chains of critical goods, where environmental conditions and security of the goods being shipped is extremely critical, such as blood, organs, or vaccines. And let's let Meta take over. So the use case we've implemented for supply chain management is a, um, it integrates IoT devices for temperature control for vaccine transfer. So what happened was, is it was a very hot climate in which COVID vaccines were being transported. And inside the containers, there was an IoT device that was tracking the temperature controls for that unit, it would track directly to the blockchain. And then upon receipt, um, the full recording of the temperature control of the unit was reported and the customer could validate whether that container could be accepted or not. Now, building from this partnership with Casper Labs and Weisky, we have some more news coming out from this Invest in Space Summit. Here's another article that came out June 9th. Weisky in cooperation with Casper Labs and YSAT mints two emblematic NFTs from space at the Financial Times Investing in Space Summit. I wanted to jump straight into what those two NFTs were. I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to peruse through the rest of these articles. So the first NFT is a first ever sustainable NFT project using the Parima CH solar panels installed in 2010. Using limited resources effectively is the core philosophy underpinning the Parima, a concept boat centered on environmental research, which aims to show how sustainable technology could revolutionize the shipping industry. The name Parima was a name for the goddess of the future in ancient Rome. Pretty fitting name if you ask me, but this boat looks phenomenal. Here, the second NFT we have is by Casa de Alba Foundation, Christopher Columbus Letters, as part of the foundation's collection appraised at over $100 million. Here we have a Casa de Alba Foundation for the digital transformation and one of the best private collections of cultural heritage NFT produced by Pedro Sandoval. 
So this is the first NFT from Casa de Alba Foundation is based on the original Christopher Columbus autograph drafts of two memoranda addressed in 1501 to King Ferdinand and Queen Isabel of Spain, valued again at over $100 million. Here you can see a little glimpse of that letter. It's amazing to see artifacts that are that old still exist today. I mean, I get starstruck every time I see something like this, no lie. Maybe I'm just a nerd. I don't know. But that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. If you're still watching, you truly are a pioneer in this space. Don't ever forget that. I appreciate you all. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, nothing ventured, nothing gained. This is the way.